So we take out two of them. If we have secant m minus 2x and then secant square x, what can we do with this? Guess what? We cannot rewrite this in terms of tangent nicety because it's m minus 2. Uh, you don't know what m is, right? But if we have this and that, integration by parts is much better. We can integrate this part easily and the result is better and then we can differentiate this part. So for this right here, let's first write it as the integral of secant m minus 2 power and x and then multiply by secant square x. Yeah. So for this kind of equation, you just kind of think about a little bit and then integration by parts on the side. Alright, I will integrate secant square x and then differentiate secant n minus 2 power x. Differentiating this, put the power to the front, so we have n minus 2. And then minus 1 to the power, so it's secant n minus 3x. And then multiply by the derivative of secant because it's the chain rule. So we have to multiply by secant x tangent x. Alright, so that's that. And earlier we will have to integrate secant square x and that will give us tangent x. So this times that, it's the first part of the answer. And uh, we will get just, just that. So this is secant n minus 2x tangent x. Good, and then multiply this and that together. It's the it's it will put in the, in the integration minus, and then we have n minus two. It's just a constant multiple put at the front, and then we have the integral. This times that is secant n minus two, right? It's n minus two. So secant n minus two x tangent x tangent x tangent square x. So here we have tangent square x dx. Now this is complicated, huh? But we did end up with from here. We have the first part of the answer. And it looks like this part has less power than the original. But the problem is that we have tangent square x. It's not so nice, but don't worry. Tangent square x is the same as secant square x minus 1, isn't it? Yeah, so we are going to multiply this in, and then it's going to be a repeated situation again. So let me write this down one more time. This is similar to the sine version. Integral secant to the nth power x dx equals, the first part of the answer is secant to the n minus 2x times tangent x minus I'll take this, this, and multiply by that. So we have minus n minus 2, and then integral. This times that is just secant to the nth power, x. And then close that, done for that. And then negative, negative becomes passed here. And then integral, oh, n, Sorry, it's positive, and then we have the m minus 2 integral, and then this times 1, right? So it's just secant m minus 2 power x in the, in the x world. So that's that. This is what we would like, right? Power got smaller, but the thing is that this part, we will have to add it to the other side. So we add m minus 2 integral secant to the nth power of x. And then we do the same thing here, plus n minus 2 secant to the nth power x dx. This and that gone. Good. Okay. We have one integral here. 1 plus n minus 2 is n minus 1. So this right here is n minus 1 times this integral secant to the n x right n to the x sorry secant to the nth power of x 
is equal to this and that. I'm just going to divide the n minus 1. So ladies and gentlemen, the integral of secant to the nth power, much better, nth power x dx equals, we have this, but we have to divide it by n minus 1. So this right here is 1 over n minus 1, and then we have all that secant to the n minus 2 times x tangent x and then we have a plus this is n minus 2 over n minus 1 and then ha, that the reduction for secant n minus 2 power x dx yeah and that is why I have on the answer key as well and for this one of course n cannot be equal to 1 n cannot be equal to 1 right definitely for sure n cannot be equal to 1 